Well, hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of The Live with Naz. An hour of laughter and encouragement coming to you from Southern California. People, let's see who, what's going on here, and let's invite our friends from the other side to join us. Alrighty, let's see what we got here. Okay, here we go. All right, friends from the other side, come on. Okay, one, two, three steps, four steps. Has to happen. Five, six, seven. Okay, eight and nine. And we're in business. All righty, let's see who we have here on the show today. All right, Sarah, how are you? Dave Ebert, hello from Illinois. Oh, Bobby Miller, how are you? Come on, everyone. Michael Ramirez, hello, hello, hello. Catherine Allen, how you doing? All right, let's see. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Naz is heading up the Midwest with one of my favorite people. Ha, ah, soon. Rochelle is here. Thanks for opening the door for us, Sarah. Yes, Sarah, we appreciate you. Becky Ottenberry, my beloved friend, how are you? Hello from the other side. The, ooh, it, there's echoes there. Bless to see Amy from Highland. She's in the house. Crazy funny people. Yes. Larkin is here. Hello from Columbus, Ohio. Larkin, I'm going to be in Vandalia, Ohio. Vandalia, Ohio, which is very close to you on the 18th of February. So, would love to see you there. No excuses. Come on, everyone from the other side. Now, let's see, hello, Matthew Dirks from Marquis Sand, Wisconsin, Marquis Sand, okay, Dolores is here, hello Dolores, welcome, welcome, <laughs> all right, Dave Ebert, I'm making my own medicine ball miracle tea here now on, good, I just did one today earlier, I have been congested for the longest time, I don't know, but Anyway, I have my physical tomorrow, so I'm going to go and tell the doctor, you better do something, buddy, pal. I do this for a living. I need to be talking. Oh, Sophia Law is here. Hi, Sophia. Sophia from Toledo. Hello. Hello. We miss you, too. Thank you for what you do. All right. On the 18th, I'm going to be in Dayton, near Dayton, Vandalia. Come on down, Sophia. Okay, so, Dave Ebert, help me out. John is stuck in a storm, people. There's a huge storm in the Midwest. He is in Golconda, Gol Illinois. Sounds like some kind of lizard. A Golconda, like the Anaconda sister Golconda. So anyway, he went to shoot some... Uh, TikTok f videos for this young kid that is right now huge on TikTok. He's the the, the guy that does yodeling on uh, in Walmart, the famous kid. He's getting a lot of hits. He's a he's now um, viral. So they hired John to go to to his city and start taping. So the storm happened, and where's John stuck? In the house with the family. This kid lives with his grandma and grandma. They're Christian people. And they just loving on John right now. So John canceled his hotel because he couldn't drive. There's too, too much of a storm. I delayed his flight till Saturday because he can't be driving tomorrow. The, the roads are icy. And it's a very, it's not a major highway. It's just our small roads. So when they freeze and they become icy, it's hard. So anyway, this is where we at. So. I pray that he would be safe, that the storm would go, the roads will be back. Nancy Materiata, hello from Pomona. It's cold, yes, it is cold, people. Okay, let's see. Alrighty. Okay, okay, let's see. So, here's my thought. Here's my thought for the day. Uh, Valentine's Day is coming and whenever I think of Valentine, I think of candles 
We have so many candles in the house. The Vatican calls us once in a while. Like, hey, Jesus is rising from the dead. Next month, we need candles. We know you have it. We can count on you. It's What is so romantic about candles? Something that's burning in the middle. And you put your hand and it will burn you. And remember when candles were just candles? You know, I just... Is this venting? Yeah, I'm venting. Remember when candles, just candles, like it's a stick and you light it and when the electricity is out, you just hold it and you can see, right? And you tilt it because it's gonna, it will burn your hand. That's what candles are. When did they start becoming cylinders and big and bigger? And my, I, I don't know, they're big cylinder, right? You know, the other day they delivered one to us to have to remove the front door hinges. We take the hinges, take the front door, and squeeze this big cylinder candle that came, you know, was delivered in a truck, uh, a 12, you know, this, you know, you know, 16-wheeler or whatever, 18-wheeler. So, and then the other one, we couldn't get it from the front door. We have to go in the backyard and let it from the yard. Because it's wider open with it and now we use it as a like a dining table now of course we sit on the side because it will burn you if you it it comes in a scent i think the scent is casserole that's what it smells like so we we keep the food warm around the candle and we sit on little candle cylinders i don't know it just they they burn and then and and my wife goes well they smell good they smell very good. They have different smells. But at the same time, they take the smells away. Like the bad smells. Like the candle nose. Mm. Is that another another candle? I smell... Is that peach or is that poopery? Is that What is that? I mean, what are you... How is the candle going to know which smell to take away and which smell to produce? I, I don't know. I just... doesn't make sense. I walk in my house, you know... My living room is the forest, the green forest. You know, my, my, what I call, our bedroom is like the peach grove. I don't know. And then there's a, the garage. Half of it is the Mobile One formula scented f uh, smell. And the other half smells like Costco where we put our toilet paper and kitchen rolls and all that storage stuff. I have no idea. But um, anyway, this is. I'm venting. I'm not buying Maha any more candles this year. Okay. Last. Top 20, people. Top 20 from last night. The night before. Last night I had a Bible study. So, uh, let's see. Better than. Now it's like a, a vat of candles for ambiance and hair removal. <laughs> All right. Bobby's here. I take you out. Bobby. I take you to in and out on Valentine. Oh, well, Michael, I don't think that's the right day to take my Bobby somewhere. You know, find somebody. You have a lot of hearts that you're sending away now. Venting with Naz, right? Love is, a, love is a lot of candles you can get burned, right? You can. Me, Michael. Valentine's Day and Singles Awareness Day. Oh, that's funny. Please pray for my mom. She had hip replacement surgery last month. Ooh, I just talked to a friend on the phone who had a hip replacement. Uh, wow. Yes, he's been adopted. John has been adopted. They loving on him. They showed him. He said, Dad, I saw the oldest bi uh, Bible I've ever seen in my life. Okay, here we go. My 600 candles. All right, Michelle is here. Okay, so we got we got we got four Ohio three Ohio people today. We got Sophia Law from Toledo, the nurse. We got Michelle Volson from Brunswick, Ohio, the actress and the comedian to be, and then we have uh, Larkin in Columbus, Ohio. So welcome, my Buckeye friends and Nazareth from Toledo originally. Might as well have a fire pit with a table over it. That's funny, right? Okay, poopery. Okay, let's see. Must be some very intelligent candles to know which smells. Exactly. Exactly. How can you tell? 
Okay, here's a drum roll. You can you can cut a hole in your ceiling roof and you lower it down with ropes on the mattress so everyone can see the beautiful candle. So Zen, we're there from Pittsburgh. I promise to try to behave tonight. Okay, we'll take it one minute, one question at a time. My hips are too big to replace. That is so funny. I just buy Valentine's Day candy for myself, right? Timothy, SAP Singles Appreciation. Okay, hello. All right. Uh, last night I asked you worst name or a slogan for a photographer. Worst name or a slogan for a photographer. At number 20, blackout. Number 19, photobomb photography. At number 18, paparazzi. At number 17, shattered lenses. At number 16, framed. 15, blurred. At number 14, crime scene solutions. At number 13, out of focus works. At number 12, your last shot. At number 11, out of frame. And the top 10 worst names or slogan for a photographer. At number 10, photo chop chop. At number 9, see moldy cheese. Say moldy cheese. At number 8, lens aren't your friends. At number 7, we're underdeveloped. At number 6, set up, shut up, and smile. <laughs> At number five, overexposed. At number four, LAPD. At number three, flasher. Number two, worst name or a slogan for photographer, shut her up. <laughs> At number one, hocus focus. Those were funny. Bobby and uh, Brent, please pray for Brent. He's in the ER right now. So keep him in prayer. He had some heart issues. His wife is in Texas. He's in Oklahoma. So keep him in prayer. All righty. Tonight. Okay. Before we ask the first question, can you hydrate and share, please? Hydrate and share. Guys, I just found out. You know, we average between, you know, we're averaging about, about 70 to 80 people every night around. Some nights we don't have a lot of people, other nights we have a lot. But anyway, it's been most of the time it's about, we're averaging about 75 to 80 people. Now, if we can all start inviting people and asking people to join in and check the live, if we can get to 300 people, uh, Facebook will start paying for the show. They'll start putting an ad or two and pay for the show. So instead of me doing the vitamin stuff, which never made any money, which, hey, you know, I'm still using them because I like them. They work for me. But what I'm saying is I'm not, I'm not pushing them. So I'm telling you, if we, if we can get to 300 people. So me and Javier Scott, my assistant, we talked about, let's make this a goal. By June, we want to get 300 people. So if you know anybody that you want to talk to and say, hey, listen, this is what I enjoy every weeknight. If you want to join me, if you want to check it out, check it out. Okay, that's it. Frank is here. Hello, Frank. Hello, the people who just watched us. Hello. All right, let's see. Okay, here's your question for the first question for the night. Okay. Ah. Uh, what ad would you put on the side of a trash truck? What ad would you put on the side of a trash truck? What ad would you put on the side of a trash truck? Michelle winning. No, I understand. People, I'm, when I tell you this, this is no pressure on you. I'm not asking. I said, ask your friends if you can. That's fine. Thank you for promoting the show, Rita. Timothy, hey, old, did you know that being a moron in the health insurance world could be a reason to have your claim denied? Why? Because being labeled a moron, it would be considered a pre-existing condition. <laughs> okay. So it's not covered. <laughs> breaking up is hard to do so dump 
<laughs> Dump all your junk truck. What goes up must come down. <laughs> what goes in must come out. Waste control. That's funny. Non-vegan. <laughs> Got dump. <laughs> That's funny. You guys are fat. <laughs> what a perfect, perfect setting for another emoji by Michael Ramirez. <laughs> Attorneys at law. Oh, that's funny. Classy trashy. You need sludge? We've got your sludge. Junk food. All right. Good one. Get rid of your husband's book truck. <laughs> oh, Philip. Poor guy. Warning, contain, <laughs> contains Biden's economy. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Praise the Lord. My sister recovery good. No cancer, no tumor in the tumor. All right, amen. Amen, Frank. Praise God. Lone Ranger to the dump, the dump, the dump, the dump. Goats are us. Your next meal. Your turn to go first. <laughs> That's right. Smart one, Michelle. Heller Clinton's missing emails. Got junkie struck. Uh, please help starving children in Africa. Down in the dumps. McDonald's. Waste watchers. <laughs> Let it go. Today, for the first time in five years, I ate Burger King. Can you believe it? Haven't eaten Burger King in over five years. And we had a Burger King. I had a Whopper and a chicken sandwich. It's big. This, I just, ever since I've been congested, I haven't been working out. So I've been just trash truck. I shouldn't talk about food while we're talking trash truck. So we're talking trash here. And, and <laughs> you know, so, Suzanne said she's going to behave. And what do we do? We're talking trash. Let it go. <laughs> Makes more than most liberal arts <laughs> majors. <laughs> All your jokes here. Taco Bell. Soylent Green is people. In and out. Oh, no. All right. Let's see. Dumpster fires are us. Suzanne's dirty joke emporium. <laughs> Waste managers wanted. No degree needed. Right. Free leftovers. Recycled lives. We've got your cardboard house. Oh no. Garbologist at work. <laughs> I don't think that's a real word, right, Becky? A garbologist? Is that. <laughs> Support your local landfill. <laughs> How? You know, this is, I think it's a, it's a privately owned company, Waste Management. And I, I heard that they're owned by some Armenian and brilliant guys that are making lots of money from this. Susie Stevens, how are you? Garbage in, garbage out. Welcome, Susie. Thank you for joining us. Mess is the best. Support you. All right, Susie, we always ask. City and state, one question. City and state. Cats the movie, <laughs> right? Waste Watchers Anonymous. Meals on Wheels, my dad. That's funny, Pat. <laughs> Meals on Wheels. Dump fire truck on fire. We are your mobile nuclear waste. You know, it's funny that my, my trash truck guy, uh, the one that takes, the, I think, the recycling, we became good friends, and he is, this guy was just, you know, overweight. He started working out. The guy looks like 20 years younger. Every time he comes in, I go out, and he teach me a Spanish word. Every time I, we have this deal. Whenever I see him, he teaches me a Spanish word. The guy is just amazing. I love him. And let's see. So, free COVID screening. Just sniff. <laughs> don't, <coughs> don't overfill the cans. We are your mobile nuclear. This truck blows in the dark. Oh, no. 
We bring your dog and cat and squirrel. Ciao. Waste movement. Don't ask, don't tell dumpsters. Right. Michelle Scott Paper Company. Michael Scott Paper Company. I'm new here. Madison, Ohio. Cuddled up with my dog, ignoring a snowstorm outside. Oh, it's storming too in Ohio. My son is stuck in... Uh, between St. Louis and Nashville in um, Gad... I can't say the word. Gal... Galandia... What? <laughs> I keep... I can't... What was it? Galaconda. Galaconda, Illinois. He's in Galaconda, Illinois. I'm going to be in Ohio, young lady. In uh, Madison, Ohio. Where is that? I went to school in Toledo. And then I'm going to be doing a show near Dayton... In, on the 18th of this month, so good. We got five Ohioans, Buckeyes in here. Five Buckeyes people. One, all right. Michelle Volison. Um, we got our wonderful nurse, and from Toledo, and we got our wonderful Larkin friend from Columbus, and you know, and who else? We got got a couple more. Thank you for sharing this video, Michael. I appreciate you, brother. Okay, let's see. We are your mobile canned goods store. Expanding waistlines. Glad to have another Buckeye. Yeah, Sophia, we got five today. Recycled politics. Northeastern Ohio. Oh, you're by Youngstown. Close to probably... Yeah. Close to, no, past Cedar Point. Close to the Cleveland, no, past Cleveland. You're close to Pennsylvania. Your fashions, I'm new here, new dumpsters are you. <laughs> oh, H. Buckeyes dump trucks. You went to school in Toledo, which is about 30 minutes away from where I live. But I... I'm a Wolverines fan all the way. Oh, okay. Are you in Ann Arbor, Chris? We'll pick up your mother-in-law. <laughs> New Coke. <laughs> and yet Nez still can't say Snohamish. I just said it. Snohamish. All right. I O. Even I know that one. O-H-I-O. What's the question? The question is... The question is, did I pin the question? I did pin the question. Where is it? The question, what ad would you put on the side of a trash truck? Now, oh, Chris is an Adrian. I am up by Lake Erie, half between Cleveland and Pennsylvania line. Awesome. I used to drive to Buffalo and go through your town. X is recycled. We are, we are for all your crazy junk and crap. Masks, dump truck, government red tape, Nez's recycling service. What's the question? The question is, okay, I used to say, uh, oh, that means I cannot speak to you. <laughs> You're for the team up north. Two guys and flies. Two guys on the fly. That is so funny, Rita. Garbage pale kids. All right, Laura Collins, welcome back. Good evening. 1 800 junk for you. What's high in the middle of round on both ends? Oh, hi, oh. Okay. <laughs> the new TV fall line up inside. Right. Las Vegas secrets, Las Vegas secret. Despite the rivalry, I can still talk. I actually have a family friend who's a Buckeye fan. Pampers, that's a good, that's a good ad to put on the side of a trash truck. Pampers. <coughs> Excuse me. Alrighty. Are we done with that question? Let's take another question, people. All right. I know you guys are very creative, so you need to give me worst name for a crayon colors. 
worst name for a crayon color. What would be the worst name for a crayon? You know how they have like sky blue and navy blue and lime green and, uh, you know, like something pastel. Politicians in training, liberal tears. What happened in the garbage truck doesn't stay in the garbage truck. Gutter brothers, All right? It depends. Good. Gangrene, <laughs> that's a bad color. Gangren. It takes a few nuts and squirrels to fill up your dump truck. Agent Orange, that is so funny. All righty, let's get her. <laughs> Earwax brown. <laughs> Bile. <laughs> Red rash. <laughs> Urine yellow. Okay. Pathetic purple. <laughs> Black and blue for you. Call me red. <laughs> Puking puke. Pu puce. I can't. Invisible. My dad. That's good color. Jerry Mandarin orange. <laughs> Yellow sub. Okay. Vomit. Ouch. Pink stink. Okay. Hideous hay barn. <laughs> Can you imagine the whole box? You you know, your little child, your beautiful daughter, two-year-old, just learning about colors. Here's some puke green. Here's a vomit green. Here's some hideous hay burn. Here's some <laughs> Asian orange. This you'll mess up the child. Ah, baby puke green. That's different than puke green, right? <laughs> It's it's different than vomit green, right? It's just different, very close. Different shades, kind of. <laughs> Number two brown. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> that just took me by surprise. That's right. Number two. Oh, God. That's funny. Okay. Let's <laughs> hydrate and share people, please. Oh. I can't believe on show 399, we're still laughing as hard as we did on show number one. Oh man, this is this is a good show. I'm telling you, you guys are funny. Okay, let's see. N Death color, boogery, <laughs> colored brown, pepto pink. <laughs> That's good. Plus one. I didn't read your. Oh, someone else trash is someone else treasure. Oh, okay. Infected spot, <laughs> coward yellow, vomit yellow, <laughs> yellow fellow, snow white, soylent green. <laughs> I asked for this, so guys, I asked for this. I brought down the level so way down. I don't know why. I thought of colors, maybe not gonna. There's some innocence to the color, but <laughs> garbage green. Cow manure brown, PC white, blood red, toe jam tan. <laughs> Is that what color when you get a toe jam? Black eye, blue eyes. Oh, blues traveler. Scarlet scabs. <laughs> Transgender rainbow. <laughs> oh man, Pepto pink. And I just remember you asked for this. I did, I know. Purple people eater, milky mold, <laughs> belly button and blue. Is it blue or gray? I don't know. <laughs> Depends what sweater you wear the night before. Scarlet letter. <laughs> oh, Kirk is here. Hello, Kirk. Disappearing white. 
snake green slime, gray roots, ultraviolet, milky mold, <laughs> infrared, roadkill squish. <laughs> We're thinking a lot, right? Unicorn tears. Ah, non-alcoholic burgundy, <laughs> black-eyed peas. That's funny. Foreign show is tomorrow. Yes. Tomorrow is show 400. Tomorrow I have three appointments. Can you believe it? I have my physical at haircut at 10, physical at 1130, and my eye doctor at 1 o'clock. But I should be home by 2, so I have plenty of time. Well, not plenty of time, but to do, we'll do show 400 tomorrow. Possible green tea crayons, UPS brown, Dodger blue, COVID cream. <laughs> That's good, Frank. Hairball, blue waffle, don't Google that. Okay. Silver bullet, yellow snow, blue cheese gray, pink eye crayon. <laughs> My brother said pronoun purple. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Michael Jackson starts black and becomes white later. Okay. Garbage disposal brown. Red drum. Low oxygen blue. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's so funny, Nancy. <laughs> Low oxygen blue. That is so funny. Oh, man. You guys are funny. <laughs> when someone has no oxygen, they turn blue. <laughs> Biodegradable blue. Hawk oh. <laughs> okay, Susie. Oh, fern and gr two green. That's good. Hey, it fits. Billy Button Lent Lilac. Old Yeller. Merry Christmas Red. Greasy Gray. Clear, free. <laughs> oh. uh, brown and white skin. Okay. Cold red crayon. Get a cold and turn red. Right. Toe jam berry. Red badge of courage. Nicarotic noir. That's black, right? <laughs> if you're a smoker. Gray roots. Yellow egg yolk. Bloody nose red. <laughs> Wilted fern too. You're right, Green. Crapola. <laughs> Courtesy of Tim Howard. Okay. Crapola. Wow. So, doctor appointments are what you're doing for show 400. Well, no. It's a physical. I will not show that on show 400. Borgo. 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 Turquoise. That's a. That's a full one. White privilege. <laughs> Can you imagine? Hey kid, this is white privilege. This is baby blue diaper. This is dead red. This is licked frozen flag, pole pink. Gray's anatomy. <laughs> That's good. Cat hairball beige. <laughs> Muscle clam crayons. Spoiled deviled eggs. Cheeto orange. Indian pale red. Yes, do not Google seriously. No joke. Okay, now, now, I'm a comedian, I'm skeptical, you know, you bet your, your blue waffle, I'm gonna check it out, I don't know what it is, but. The Post Tamara K, hi, the poet, hi, hi Tamara K, welcome to the show, thank you for joining us tonight, question, one question only, city and state, where you at right now, Dunk Beetle Brown, Blackout, eggnog crayon, in description, in indigestion, bean green, tan stan, milky brown, <laughs> fool's gold, autocorrect, should have been in descript, indigestion, oh, fire red, chrome, toxic tan, BLM, Hello, hello, poet, the poet. Cat's claws, crayons, 
PMS, ooh, 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 ooh. Long John Silver, Glow in the Dark, Radioactive Green. I think we missed hydrating and sharing from nine. Let's do that. I was just so dis. <laughs> I didn't want to discuss you people, but hey, if you can keep the water in, do it. Please, I pick <laughs> black. Please share this, guys. We need to get up to three hundred people. So, start sharing and letting your friends know. You don't have to share the whole show. Just tell your friends what you do and what you did last summer and the summer before. You probably were with us. Rooted brown crayon. Zap it blue. <laughs> White fragility. Rusty nail. Oh, man. Political purple. I know there's so many colors that never exist that's here tonight. Jack Black, show you care, share. Yes, political purple. Purple. Political purple. That's funny. B.O. Chanel number 33. Isn't it Chanel 5? They're up to 33. See, I haven't been keeping up with perfume. Moody blue, purple nurple. Poor purple man crayons made in China. Illusion, cancer blue, grizzly green. Blue Monday. These are all names for crayons colors you're coming up with. Incognito, rusty dusty brown. Doesn't work. Blue man group, <laughs> good. Hangry, Disney swamp, swamp Green, Moody Blues, oh, that's good. Green Machine, Broken Blue. Bat Nipple Black. I, just, I think someone should make these colors. Mr. Green, jeans, green, jeans. Mr. Green, jeans, jeans. Fishy green crayon smells like a dead fish. <laughs> old yellow, <laughs> old yellow, yellow. Squash, squire, gray, squirrel, gray. Squash, squirrel, gray. If you're in Washington State, you probably see them on the road all the time. We have no idea what this color is. Not your everyday aqua. These must be the rejected colors for the 64 Crayola cream. We need to send this to Crayola. Brown roadkill. Cancer for some reason when, when seen looks blue. Oh, okay. Cremated gray dust. John de <laughs> I don't know what to do with you. <laughs> can you imagine kids playing? Hey, can I can I have the jaundice yellow? <laughs> Surprise me, crayon. Mystery, purple possum. That is so funny. Schizophrenic sable. <laughs> is it sable color for schizophrenic? I don't know. Three trunk brown. Oh my lord, that's funny. You guys. Okay. You can cranky crow that. Okay, keep them coming because we're going to go into right now for our Guinness Book of World Record. Guinness Book of World Record. Dirt. All right. Today is, if you're new with us, I know there's some of you who are new with us. Um, I'm going to read you something from the Guinness Book of World Record. You have three chances to guess, three guesses. And if you come close to the right number that's in the Guinness Book of World Record without looking it up or asking what it is or uh, 
or asking Siri or Google, whatever, you can win this beautiful toilet paper, this Charmin to play soft toilet paper. So, today is National Carrot Cake Day. Ah, how about that, changing the theme. National Carrot Cake Day. After all this crayon coloring, Neil, we got a new friend, Neil Emson. I'm watching because of you coming to the men's event at one oh, and all. Oh, thank you for coming to the event. Thank you, Neil. Well, the question was, give us, uh, right now I'm going to do the Guinness Book. The question, worst names for crayon colors. Worst names that you can make up for crayon colors. But here's the question. The largest carrot cake was achieved by Guildford Town Center and St. Germain Bakery, both in Canada, in Surrey, British Columbia, Canada. I've been to Surrey, British Columbia, Canada. How much did it weigh, the largest carrot cake? More than 100 pounds, under 5,000 pounds. Well, let's go, more than 1,000, under 5,000. More than 1,000, under 5,000. 5, Five thousand. So give me your three guesses. And if you come so close to it, you're going to win this toilet paper. Alrighty. And Michelle, I would wait a little bit before giving the numbers. <laughs> I got a jar of dirt and guess what's inside it. And we're back to food. Yep. Bearded Lady Brown. <laughs> my prayer request for our leaders and nation and my continued healing and for my upcoming doctor's appointment. For the infectious disease specialist. All right, we'll be praying for you at 9:23. Amy said 12:10. Becky Ottenberry 17:66, 27:66, and 37:66. Amy said 2001:11. Sarah 15:55, 25:55, and 35:55. Rita 22:22, 33, 33, and Michael's last number. Okay, Dave Ebert. 1579, 2376, and 3419. Amy, 3290. Becky Volt, 1001, 2599, and 4555. Nancy, Isis, Iris. That's a good call. Sophia, 2000, 3300, and 4200. Frank, 3333, 55, 50. It's under 5000, Frank, so, Pancho, give us another two guesses. Chris Martel, 1247, 3456, 4790. The Rooster and Ruby the Red Hen would love some of that carrot cake with some cream cheese. Oh, cream cheese is always good, whatever you put it on. Bobby Miller, 1550, 2550, and 3550. Rita Green Envy, color. 1333, 1799, and 2727 for Nancy. Catherine Allen, 4555. And 34.25. And let's see. Uh, who else? Catherine. Poison Ivy Green. Trouble with a capital, capital T. Susie. Susie, it's over a thousand. Sorry. Over a thousand. So give me three guesses. Over a thousand, under five thousand. Sardines, gray crayon. 45.80. 39.66. And 47. 11 for Michael Ramirez. Kirk, 1,500, 3,500, 4,500. 1,234. Pancho, 22, 22, 1799, and 33, 33. Michelle, waiting for your lead, Michael. Salted caramel cheesecake. Oh, salmonella salmon. Okay, I think we're waiting for Michelle's numbers now. I, I kind of got a good guess. What is this? Dream on. <laughs> Michelle said 34.56, 24.16, and 13.44. Oh, so you didn't go with Michael's numbers. Okay, how about 11.50, 1416.10? That's good, Susie. Great. Heard an evil laugh. Looked around to see where the creepy laugh was coming from when I realized I had fallen asleep while listening to the show. The evil laugh revived me, though. Well, that's what happened when you fall asleep, Debbie. Sold. Dog chew. Per All right, here's the answer, people. The largest carrot cake weighs 4,574. 
The sole winner, people, is Michael Ramirez. He came up with 45.80. I know Becky Voth and Catherine Allen, they said 45.55. And then 45.80 for Michael, who won this. And Michelle, you should have just returned the favor. <laughs> I know. Congratulations. <laughs> that is so funny. Michael, see, when you, when you trust your inner self, your guts, you can win. And you need that. I know you need that, TP, from all the emojis you're, you're throwing left and right. Uh, congratulations, <laughs> Michael Ramirez. We all know you need it. See, see what kind of reputation you're building here. Uh, come Valentine, nobody wants to go out with you now. <laughs> wow, that's a whole lot of cake. I know. All right. Congratulations. <laughs> you guys, we forgot to hydrate and share at 9.15, so go ahead. All right. All right. All right. I really need... Yo, you got it. You needed it, and you got it now. All right. Keep the colors coming, people. At least we will not end the show being hungry. <laughs> Keep the colors coming. I don't think we have time for another question. It's only four minutes left till we start praying for you guys. Just want to remind you, tomorrow is show 400. Tomorrow is show number 400. And... Um, Keep John in prayer because of the... We'll we'll ask for that later, and uh, it's still snowing, so we're praying for you guys in the Midwest. Traffic cram crayon, lobster red. <laughs> yep. And you're wondering why you don't have a date for Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Michael, may, <laughs> may your toilet paper run it over. What a nice prayer, Bobby. Thank you so much. <coughs> That's what friends are for. I use preparation etchness. Well, good. You know what? <laughs> you're, you're really ruining your image right here. So anything special for show 400? I don't... Just considering the time that I will leave tomorrow at 9 in the morning, be back to the office at about 3, 3 o'clock or 2.30. And John is not in town for doing a, a Zoom or something. We'll see. Let me think of something special we can do. Brown-eyed, blue, fire ants, licorice. The rubber, tire rubber, peanut butter and jelly swirl, toilet paper white, toilet paper brown. <laughs> I will be working tomorrow night. All right. Maybe Maha could come on for the show for 100. I'll ask her. Yeah, Carol went back to school today. She was here last night. Because a couple of days they had shooting. They had a guy that was threatening to sh to do a mass shooting at UCLA, so they shut the, you know, they shut the school down, and they arrested him. He's one of the philosophy professors. Kind of tells you what kind of professors sometimes they have there. Spandex blue. I was curious, so I googled the waffle, and you don't want to know what it is. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you guys for caring about my moral and and <laughs> spiritual that's good good night chris strangulation purple strangulation purple crystal blue persuasion by the way this sunday if you are near anaheim i'm going to be speaking at city church in anaheim off broadway downtown anaheim off broadway 700 broadway uh, it's called City Church. I'll be doing comedy and teaching, so would love to see you if you're in the area. 
Okay, 9.23 people, now it is the... Time for prayer. Okay, here's what I need prayer for. Pray for Brent to read. Brent is he's a uh is always on our show. He moved to Oklahoma. He's in the ER right now. He has heart issues. Keep him in prayer. Keep his wife Audra. She's a nurse. She's in Texas right now. Keep them in prayer. Pray for my friend Art and spoken prayer for Art. And spoken for prayer for Lily. Uh, let's see. Keep pray for John that he would come here safe, come home safe, that the road condition would get safe, and he can drive. Nazareth's doorbell is going off again. It's <laughs> legging squeeze sparkle. All right. So crystal. So anyway, pray for Tonga. And our nation. Pray for this whole world. Okay, we're praying for also pray for uh, Timothy Fakhori, what he prayed for his doctor's appointment. <coughs> okay, yes, my numbers were all typos. I really meant to write whatever you had. Well, you see now Michelle wants some toilet paper. Timothy's request earlier, yes. Pray John, my friend, again. Okay, see, he could have used that soup. For in that storm, it's a huge storm, people. My wife and daughter, oh, are back, flying back home Saturday. Pray they have a safe trip and that I clean the house before they get back. Okay, uh, we'll be praying for that. And, you know, just the storm is hitting to today and tomorrow, so hopefully they won't miss a flight coming. Neil, thank you. Praying for my ministry. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. You're so kind. Catherine prays. My friend Maggie Joe's eye is getting better, but please continue to keep her and her son's eye injury in prayer until they are completely healed. Pray for our cat tags. We need $464 for the tags this month. Pray for more hours at home. What? Oh, car tags. I thought you said for the cat tags. I'm like, what's that's an expensive cat. For the car tags, that's right, you guys got a new van. Welcome to California. Four hundred and sixty four dollars. You said Uber. Well your husband is Ubering, right? Praying for your appointments tomorrow. Thank you, brother. Praying for our frontline workers, including Sophia Law and Audrey. Amen. Praying for you all. Thanks for your prayers. Thanks a lot for the laughs. We love you too, Sophia. Try to make it to to Dayton. I got... Oh, no, wait. Oh, yeah, it's, you're too far from Franklin, Indiana, where I'm going to do my show the next day. I got my surgery date February 18th. Yes, we will not be able to use left hand for three days. Won't be able to drive for three days. Need easy to eat cooked meals well uh i heard michael ramirez does good soup because uh, you can't be grabbing in and out you need your hand for that well what kind of cat is that now i know that means car and spoken for sarah all right anybody else needs prayers just want to encourage you that's what we're doing for show 500 i don't know yet can cook some soup for mom. all right um i yeah i i was listening to pastor chuck smith this morning it's just really encouraging from uh first john we're talking about First John and, uh, you know, how can we say we love God and it's like, and we you don't love your brother. And 
I'm really mixing them all up right now. I listened to several people this morning and I was reading the Bible. So, uh, I'm blanking out. It's fine. It's okay. Once every 398 shows, we can blank out. But, but uh, if I can say one thing to you, and I, I, and I keep repeating this, it's just get in the Word daily. Get in the Word daily daily because when you start reading you go oh ooh, ooh, ooh. like the other day i was telling you i was reading when jesus asked him to bring back what's left from the feeding the five thousand the 12 baskets full and he started reading why and because jesus doesn't want us to be wasteful and you know there's a lot of blessing financially there's a lot of blessing when you start being not frugal i, I god wants you generous but you start, there's expenses that really wasteful that you don't need. You know, if you start cutting those, God's going to bless you. It's amazing. When I started going over my bank account and looking at every expense, go, why am I paying for this? I don't need this. And you start cutting those. You just feel God's blessing because, you know, you're not being wasteful. So that's really important. And that happens when you read daily. You need the Bible daily. It's called the living word for a reason. You know, if it's, because it says the word of God and living and powerful and sharper than any two edges. So it's living. That means it just brings new stuff into your life. The more you read it, the more you pray it while you're, you're praying the verses and you're reading it, God is going to open your eyes to stuff you didn't know before, even though you read the same thing a hundred times. It's going to open your eyes and, and it, it applies to you, not someone else. You go, oh yeah, you know what? I've been so mean to this person. I've been hating this person for no reason. I've been, you know, I, or rightly so, but Jesus doesn't want me to hate. You know, look at this. How can I hate my brother? And, and so you start praying about it. See, living word, and it really will help you. So when I encourage you, I, I will tell that to my kids, and I will tell it to you because I love you. Be in the word daily. Be in prayer daily. It will change your life. You will grow spiritually, and that's that's the best place that you can be and get satisfaction there. All righty, let's see. Was praying for you and Remy today. Oh, Remy is coming to in, in two weeks to stay with me for a day, him and his dad. So I'll get to update you guys on that. Love you guys. Thank you so much for everything. You've been amazing. Thank you for the laughs. I love you. God help us with it. Amen. Keep praying for Ruby. We will. Love you guys. Have a great night.